Now switching over to health news this morning. The Sepsis Alliance from Spectrum Health is using this month to raise awareness of the dangers of sepsis and how quick action can be a lifesaver. Here with more is pulmonologist and critical care intensivist Stephen Fitch. Good morning, Stephen. Good morning. Thanks for being with us this morning. Sepsis, something that we really don't hear about often. And how prevalent is sepsis? Well, it's, it's very common. Um, in fact, it's uh, the most common cause of death in U.S. hospitals every year. Um, it affects about 1.7 million people in the U.S. Um, and translates into um, uh, about 270,000 people who die from that every year in the U.S., which is more than prostate cancer, breast cancer, and HIV combined. Those are some um, astonishing numbers, doctor, to, to know that that is that prevalent and we just don't bring that much attention to it. You said it's the leading cause. So for those who may not be familiar with what sepsis is, could you explain exactly what it is? Sure. It's the body's overwhelming response to what it perceives to be a, a potentially life-threatening infection. Um, and when unchecked, uh, it can lead to uh, tissue damage, organ failure, um, and, and death. So this is something that sounds like you'd want to get to quickly. Uh, quick action is very important. And you even have an acronym that, uh, that helps people remember that with the acronym TIME. Can you let us know why quick action is so important and then explain that acronym? Yeah. Uh, it, it's critically important that we act quickly when we are concerned about, you know, severe infection in these situations. Uh, mortality or death from sepsis increases by as much as 8% for every hour that treatment is delayed. And um, as many as 80% of sepsis deaths could be prevented if we were able to act rapidly and initiate treatment. The TIME um, acronym uh, stands for a series of, of symptoms and, and things to pay attention to uh, as a layperson if you encounter these things. Temperature is the T. So if you have elevated uh, higher than normal temperature, um, concern for infection, um, whether that be you know respiratory symptoms like you might have with a bronchitis or a pneumonia, uh, urinary tract infection, abdominal pain, those sorts of things. Um, change in mental status or mental decline, people becoming sleepier, uh, confused, difficult to arouse. Um, and often people will describe a sensation of feeling extremely ill or like they might die. So that's the E. Um, and so if we kind of pay attention to those four pieces and any of those are happening in combination, then we would certainly want to reach out to your medical professional or uh, present to a hospital or call 911. Yeah, that was my next question. When you see these uh, symptoms, is it something that you just call your primary physician and say, hey, we're concerned, or is this you know, an emergency call? It's definitely something, as I said, if we don't address it rapidly, it can result in, in death fairly quickly. And so if these uh, symptoms become a concern, then it certainly is something that you want to act on quickly um, you know, such as going to the hospital or to the emergency department or, or even summoning 911. Well, doctor, we thank you so much for the time and the information this morning. Don't forget that website, septusawarenessmonth.org. I do believe it is. We'll have the link up on our website as well. And thank you for sharing the information this morning. We'll be right back. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. You bet.